the little bit more sunshine heading into the second half of the work week. So by Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, we're starting to clear out and those temperatures as a result warm up as well. Upper 40s for Thursday, Friday, we're topping out with our warmest day at about 52 degrees. All right, we have stuff happening in the kitchen. Let's uh, send it to you, Peyton. That's right, we definitely do, Catherine. Well, Asian Cuisine Week is in full swing here in Cincinnati, and one local restaurant out of Loveland is celebrating in style. Now, I'm here with Toru and Koji to tell us just a little bit more. Well, first of all, welcome. Good morning, both Thank of you. you. Good morning. Us. Yes, talk to me about what we've got set up here. We've got a couple foods. It looks like some of these actually are pretty accessible, right? Microwavable or a boil. Talk to me a little bit about those. Yeah, we specialize in Japanese home style meal kit. We deliver to the nationwide. So this is the all already cooked and the prepared. So you don't have to worry about shopping, the creating menu. You don't have to go to restaurant. And uh, this is just a heating by microwave or boiling water. It takes a microwave two to three minutes. Okay, already uh, already cooked beforehand. That's my kind of meal right there. <laughs> Talk to me about the, spe the specifics and what's in these meals. Yeah, uh, the, here we have today uh, the Japanese style hamburg steak with demi glaze sauce. Uh, this is a kind of one of my our best, the popular item, and it, it's also available the Asian cuisine week. Okay. Yeah. And uh, here's a uh, the fish item, the broiled mackerel with soaked miso. Yeah. So and lots of variety as far as these options definitely. Yeah, go. it is. And you know, when we're talking about um, Asian Cuisine Week, why is this, you know, so important to highlight? Yeah, so believe it or not, there's a lot more than 400 Asian restaurants in greater Cincinnati. And we started, this is the fifth time we're doing it. And uh, when COVID hit, we couldn't really go out and do our usual Asian food fest. We said, why don't people go out to the restaurants, explore and discover new cuisines, new tastes that the best of Cincinnati can offer. And right there, you said there's over 400. Mm -hmm. Talking about since this has really started, how many more restaurants have been added? Yeah, so when we started, we probably had about 15 to 20 or so. Now we had the highest ever, close to 60 restaurants and still growing. We continuously get inquiries of how can we participate? How can we help uh, highlight? So we try to help them out. Wow, that really is quite a jump. That has to feel great to see too, right? Yeah. Just the, the progression there. Talk to me all really six hour, what you know people should kind of be looking for if they've never participated before. For the restaurants? Yes. Yeah, so for the restaurants, uh, we really try to help and highlight the local cuisines that's available. So they can just reach out to us at Asian Addy, info at AsianAddy.com, or inquire us at, go to our website, AsianAddy.com. And talk to us about how much longer that people have to really enjoy this. Okay, so from uh, people and visiting, <laughs> they have yes. it this weekend, so we're going to end in Sunday. And people should go to acw.asianaddy.com. That's our main website that has all the restaurants available. Uh, visit those restaurants. We have passports that we give out, so you can do a little bit of sticker collection around. Very and, cool, the yeah. passports, yes. yes. So, so there's lots of ways to still check this out for the rest of the weekend. You know, only so much time. So we actually have all of that information listed for you on our website. Thank you both so much for joining and cooking with us in studio. We're going to have more for you right after this break. In fact, we're going to take a live look outside. You guys can actually see it.